Welcome back to Game On, where we use sports and athletics to talk about everything related to mental health. There are numerous things that we can learn from being a part of team sports, and today we're just going to focus on one of them. Being a part of a team is knowing what my role is, what's my responsibility, and also what's not. And it's a little bit dangerous to start going into the territory of thinking or believing that something which is not my responsibility is my responsibility. So let's take baseball, for example. Say I am the starting center fielder for the Chicago Cubs, who are really struggling right now, and they may be needed by help, or maybe not. And say in my head, I feel like I should be doing everything. We're struggling. I should be pitching. I should be catching. I should be hitting. I should be taking first, second, third. Obviously, that's not going to work for a number of different reasons. First of all, my teammates are not going to be happy because I'm stepping on their toes, either telling them what to do or saying, hey, you know what? I'm going to pitch this inning. It's obviously not going to work. Now, say I'm sitting out there in center field and my pitcher's struggling. And then I come in and I'm feeling all down and upset, like, wow, I'm not pitching well. I'm not like, I should be doing something about this pitching. And I'm sort of heavy with this, this like responsibility and I'm knocking myself down, myself down and then knocking others down that we're not pitching well. It's also not gonna bode well because it's just gonna sap my energy and my focus by taking on something that's really not my responsibility. Now that doesn't mean that I don't care that we're not pitching well. It just means that that's not something that's my responsibility. And for me to take it on, would also not be helpful. Now let's draw the parallel because there are a lot of people, certainly ones I work with and just out there, that there is a tremendous amount of guilt and sense of inadequacy in many different areas. And what I've noticed is that some people will take on this belief that I should be able to take on everything. Unfortunately, the reality is that there is no shortage at all of really tragic, difficult, challenging, unfair, um, traumatic, abusive things going on in the world. There's a lot of beautiful, wonderful, positive things. But there's also no shortage of people who need help, people who need resources, really genuine causes. However, if I subscribe that, to the belief that I should take every one of those very valid causes and take that on as like my passion and grab the torch and and let it sort of consume every all of my being like this is uh, i should care about this so much that everything i do should be committed to that i'm going to completely burn myself out so i'm not going to be effective or helpful in any of those causes so by by diversifying myself so much um, i'm not going to be able to help any of those and I'm also going to feel pretty inad inadequate and guilty because if I take cause A and I put all my energy into that and then someone says, hey, what about cause B? I'm like, okay, cause B. And then I, I, it's impossible to keep up. And it's, I think it's a little unfortunate. Someone shouldn't feel that they are not a good person. I've had people tell this to me that they're not, I'm not a good person for not taking on this cause this pursuit, helping this segment of people or area region in the world. It doesn't, but people sort of get stuck a little bit in that that means that I don't care. I'm not a good human being if I don't take this on. That doesn't mean that I don't care. That's, see, that's really a, a thought, a belief that maybe we, it would be helpful to reframe. I can care about something going on in, I don't know, Eastern Europe to a, a certain population there. And I can care about it. I, I can be a compassionate human being, but me not hopping on a plane and going there and, and cashing out my savings and dedicating the, the next six years of my life to working on that doesn't mean that I'm not a good human. It just means that I have a certain bandwidth and I have to triage my resources and my energy and my brain space if I want to be helpful to anybody or anything at all. And, you know, to some people, maybe that sounds callous or cold. I really don't think that is. It's just, I'm not going to be helpful to anybody if I try to take it on. And when people feel like they're less than uh, adequate or they don't care, they're not a good human being because they don't take that on, it's, it's a trap because nobody, nobody wins 
with that. So being a part of a team is understanding what my responsibility is and really maximizing that responsibility, what my role is, what is my strengths, what are my resources, and uh, doing whatever I can within that role. I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day.